2021 has unarguably been one of the hardest years for growth stock investors as basically every small cap stock got shorted to the ground following the fears of inflation. In this kind of market, you're going to have two types of people. First being the folks who panic sell everything and second being the folks who take advantage of the good deals and set themselves up for some serious wealth. One of these amazing deals in the stock market right now is Corsair Gaming Stock as trading under the ticker symbol CRSR, which is an extremely well-established hardware tech company in the entire gaming industry, yet has become one of the most shorted stocks over the past 12 months. But now with a dirt cheap valuation, rising interest rates, and a massive catalyst coming up on January 20th, this stock could be setting up for a big reversal very soon. In this video, I'll be sharing all the details about this new latest catalyst for Corsair, go over this stock's latest short interest data, and at the end, I'll share my short-term price targets for the share price to get an idea of exactly how much upside this stock has right now. But before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, for those hearing about the stock for the first time, CRSR stock basically went public in September of 2020 and had a monster few months where the stock went from around $15 a share all the way to $50 a share. But after that big run, the stock got caught up in the major growth stock rotation last year, which paired with the aggressive cashing out of one of the company's biggest shareholders, the Eagle Tree Fund, has caused the stock price to crumble all the way down to $20 a share. But the fact of the matter is that the underlying business fundamentals have not changed one bit after the gaming industry gained so much popularity in 2020. You see, Corsair is undoubtedly one of the leaders in both the hardware and the software gaming space, yet the stock is trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of only $13. To put this into perspective, Corsair's main competitor, Logitech, is trading at a 4 PE of around $17 a share, which is actually worse than the current price to earnings ratio for that stock. On top of that, Corsair is expected to grow revenues by around 10% in 2021. Meanwhile, Logitech is expected to lose revenues by around 5%. And the severe undervalued nature of Corsair stock gets even better after you realize the insane investments this company has been making in the streaming sector. Corsair has rapidly entered the software streaming industry, which is not only expected to grow consistently throughout this decade, but it is also going to be a very high margin business. This means that as Corsair makes more money from their Elgato streaming segment, more money will flow to their bottom line, which will make the stock a whole lot more attractive to institutional investors, especially in a high interest rate environment. Environment. There are countless growth stocks out on the market that trade at ridiculous valuations, yet unlike Corsair, none of them are profitable. And because of exactly this is why I believe funds like ARK Invest have struggled so much in 2021. I mean, Corsair's business expansion over the past couple of years is highly evident through the 113 different products this company has launched last year and the 22% revenue growth this company experienced in their streaming business. This is a very impressive number, especially if you account for the heavy growth the gaming sector saw in 2020. So for Corsair to pull in even more revenue in 2021, it shows just how strong the streaming industry has become for Corsair Gaming. And the fact of the matter is that individual creators are making an insane amount of money from streaming platforms like Twitch or YouTube, which is going to continue attracting more and more people to Corsair's products. And to address one of the biggest short seller arguments against this company, which is the lower revenue guidance Corsair provided in 2021, this slower growth is most definitely a result of the ongoing supply chain crisis, which is affecting basically every tech company out there. As a matter of fact, Corsair is affected much worse by the chip shortage since the cost of gaming GPUs have skyrocketed in 2021. This has basically caused a lot of people to pile up cash instead of going out and shopping for new PC parts over the holiday season, which in my opinion is the biggest reason behind Corsair's revenue cut. But by far the most exciting part is that since the supply chain shortages are expected to taper down throughout 2022, GPU prices should fall very quickly, which could lead for a big spike in demand for Corsair's hardware products. And since we also have the gaming console upgrade cycle underway with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, once the supply is back online, we could have a record number of people shop for gaming peripherals at the end of this year. So now that we have an idea of Corsair's valuation and their amazing growth trajectory, let's address the big elephant in the room, which is the Investor Day Catalyst that is coming up on January 20th. As you can see, the CEO of Corsair himself, Andy Paul, will be there to give analysts insight into the company's growth opportunities and long-term financial targets. And to be honest, this presentation will clear up a lot of uncertainty for any hedge funds on the fence about buying Corsair stock, since we haven't had an Investor Day like this for the past 12 months. And if you paired this catalyst with the fact that Corsair stock was around 41% short last month, we can have a big reversal coming up for the stock this month if everything goes to plan. 
And on top of that, short sellers have already been taking a lot of profits on this stock since the latest short interest is estimated to be around 30%, which tells me that they sense a big bottom might be coming in for the stock soon. And if you look at the stock chart for Corsair, it's very clear that there are a lot of buyers that are sitting right around that $20 region. If we have a look at Corsair's stock chart, you can see that the stock has been selling off super aggressively over the past couple of months, and it's been getting rejected primarily by this 50-day moving average on the daily time frame. But like I said, as you guys can see, the stock formed this very strong double bottom right around this $20 level, which obviously also acts as a very strong psychological level. And as you guys can see, this wick right here signals a lot of buying pressure. And especially since we are in this very big downtrend and we are sitting right around this strong support level that we made in October of 2020, makes me quite excited for a potential bottom already in for this stock. And as it's pretty clear with the price action for the stock over the past couple of years, you guys can see that there's been an incredible amount of supply on the stock where hedge funds and short sellers have been taking a lot of advantage of retail investors to short the stock very aggressively. And let's be honest, Corsair's business has improved a lot over the past 12 months, even with the supply chain shortages, because the company has been innovating at a crazy level and they've also been acquiring interest into other technology companies. As you guys can see, the weekly RSI for Corsair is around 32, which definitely signals a very, very oversold territory for the stock that we haven't seen throughout the stock's lifetime. And at this point, you're getting a very close price to that IPO price. And as a result, I expect a lot of hedge funds to continue buying shares around this general area, because obviously that is exactly where the market opened the stock at. Now, obviously it's incredibly hard to time the bottom of a stock, but I think as a long-term investor, or even as a swing trader for the next couple of months, you always want to buy when other people don't want to buy the stock and when the stock is very quiet. And in this case, it's very clear that the retail investor sentiment around Corsair stock has really taken a turn for the worse. And a lot of people don't really want to own the stock anymore. And obviously since this company is trading at a very good valuation, they have a lot of cash and they've also sorted out a lot of their credit line problems for 2022. This company is definitely on the path to a big, big upside on the stock price if we see some nice volume and if we see a lot of shorts covering. I think what really will get the stock price going to the upside is if we break above this yellow trend line, which will definitely signal a nice reversal coming up. And if we break that, I think we could definitely test this $26 region and this $30 region very, very fast. Now, I do expect a lot of resistance for this stock around this $32 to $34 region because as you guys can see, there's been a lot of short selling and a lot of supply right around that area. But obviously, in terms of a fundamental risk, the risk is very low for this company and the reward potential clearly from the chart and through the business is very high. And in the growth stock business, those are exactly the kinds of stocks you want to buy. But anyways, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video. Let me know down in the comment section below how many shares of Corsair Gaming you guys own and whether or not you're buying this dip. And also feel free to let me know any other stocks you guys will want me to cover on this channel. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.